Hey guys, I got a different one for you today. Um, I'm scrapping out a old CD player slash car radio. Pretty beat up. It's not gonna go in my car, it's pretty old. Um, I already took all the screws out so I can get an easier look, an easier opening. So the body's steel. So you see you got your CD player. Now this is a six, six player CD, or um, it holds six CDs at once. Um, looks like it's all corded into where it moves back and forth and holds the CD, stuff like that. Got some possible gold bonding wire, let's see. Sure do. Got the bottom of this off as well. I think I'm gonna get all the steel off first and then show you guys the inside. Okay guys, so this board's not only good for the scrapper but also someone who may be in gold recovery. Um, one tiny piece of copper or whatever. We got a copper coil here. Um, sorry about that. We got some chips here that are good for um, gold recovery. Here's the main board up the face. We're gonna have a switch here that, you know, it may have a brass underling under there, or maybe cast aluminum. We got a board here, another one for gold recovery. Also in these, in the DVD portion or the CD portion, you would say, you got um, um, there's going to be a motor underneath here, as well as um, cords for gold recovery and/or copper, and there is going to be some brass pieces and chunks in there. This is a piece of brass right there. So you are going to get a little bit of copper, but I would say mostly steel in these. And lastly. This whole side chunk here. Um, this would be cast aluminum. So that is going to be worth it here to take it out. This, there's going to be a connection here. Those are going to have gold pins on them, as well as this here. And that's about it for the old car stereos. Um, it's kind of complicated. But then again, it's not, you, you can see how there's different levels where it stores the CD in these little um, folders and, or whatever you would call it. And then you got, once again, your gold plating here. I'm gonna assume that this whole board connects to plating and stuff like that for gold. There's gonna be a lot of gold plating in there. Now, if I was to take this all apart, it would probably take me a little bit. I know you guys don't really want to see it. But I'm just trying to get you guys to see what the inside is. If, if it's worth it for you. If you do, if you do gold recovery, uh, most likely you're going to want to do some of these boards. But at your own pace, you, you know, you're going to get some, some, uh, some gold pins here too. If you're just a scrapper, most of the time these are going to be mostly steel so if you do steel you know you may want to take these apart you're not going to get much brass i mean that's one small little rod like i said there's one little chunk there's one little chunk of copper along with this and since that is more of a red copper i would say it's probably number two depending on what your scrapyard takes so it's worth it for me for the cast aluminum as a huge heat um, heat sink type of deal and then this was on one of the pieces of steel so obviously it's protecting something in there keeping it cool but I hope you guys enjoyed if you did, please leave me a like let me know down in the comment sections if there's anything else that I missed or 
didn't see into. And uh, have a good day, guys. Happy scrapping.